Hey everyone, Rick here, and today I'm outside for what I am sure is going to be quite an interesting video. Now, a little introduction before I show off the main course here. How many of you recognize this? Brian Jacques Redwall. Maybe not this exact edition, uh, but man, when I was younger, I read this. I was just captivated by it. There's an entire line of uh, books based in the Redwall universe. This one's nice and red, and uh, it definitely inspired me, at least helped to inspire me into the kind of uh, fantasy genre that I still enjoy to this day. And with this kind of adventures in the lives of little animals, I've also enjoyed Mice and Mystics, a very heavily story-driven miniatures game, kind of a dungeon crawl, um, which is just fascinating. Now this is it's in its own universe, it's not um, part of Redwall, but still very fun. This is a copy of the expansion, or one of the expansions. The base game is a little tied up right now. And then that all leads me to this. The Mouse Guard role-playing game where the main feature of this video is set in. Um, I was fortunate enough to pick up a box set of this when it was first made available. Uh, it's been out of print for a while, but I think it may be back in print. If not, it will be shortly. And uh, this, too, is just an excellent product. Well, the same folks who put out the Mouse Guard role-playing game then held a Kickstarter that I participated in for a board game set in the Mouse Guard universe. It's actually a board game that you'll see the mice play in the Mouse Guard comics now and then. And that is Swords and Strongholds. Now this is the deluxe copy of the game. Mine is number 14 of only 20 in existence. And while the standard edition is still on its way, these deluxe editions have been shipped out ahead of time. So I just thought I would show you what this looks like. And folks, this is how you do a wood box. Now, I've been a part of some other Kickstarters for board games and role-playing games that promised a, qua a coffee table quality display box. No. No, they ended up being very disappointing MDF HDF laser cut thin flimsy wood boxes that warped or fell apart or were just disappointing. This is a wood box. The hardware is excellent. The hinges are strong. The wood is amazing. And this front initial graphic is perfectly etched into the wood. So when you open it up, first thing you're going to find is the game board itself absolutely stunning and it is backed with some felt so it won't scratch your playing surface and then inside the contents each side of this two-player abstract chess-like game are these four mice you're gonna have a silver and a darker deeper gray silver and with these, I'd say quarter or maybe even a third of a pound in heft. These are solid metal pieces. But they're absolutely excellent. And just to give you a bit of a close-up there. The detailing on these is also very nice. They look like little pieces that maybe the mice themselves have carved to play their game. And you'll set them up on the game board in several different configurations really depending on your preference and style of play. And of course the inside is also felt lined with the slots for the mice. And then we also have the deck of cards And these cards are letter pressed, so they have an amazing texture to them. 
You might even be able to see it there. It's actually pressed into the card. There are three different types of cards in Swords and Strongholds. You have the Swords, the Strongholds, and then the Diplomacy. Each of them look excellent. And then, just on the back of the box, is my number 14 of 20 there. So happy to own a copy of this. This is just excellent. And the, as I mentioned, the standard edition of the game is still on its way and hopefully it'll hit retail shortly after that so you can pick up a copy as well. Very simple rules, um, like I mentioned, very abstract, almost chess-like in the way you move and um, the victory conditions associated with it. So I just thought I'd give you a quick peek at this uh, deluxe edition of Mouse Guard's Swords and Strongholds and maybe I'll crack this open again. Hope you enjoyed that, and until next time.